Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is all about how to apply eyeshadow for beginners. If you do not know how to apply eyeshadow, you don't know where to start, but you really, really want to learn, this is the place for you. I'm going to break it down step by step. If you know how to apply eyeshadow, you can still stick around and make sure you're not missing any techniques you might have lost, or you could just click out of the video if you don't know how to do this. You really want to learn everything that has to do with applying the eyeshadow on your eye and make it blend like a pro, then stick around because you are gonna be your own makeup artist after this video. Just remember you do have to practice, it does take time and that's okay because that's what this video is for. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the Dom fam. And without further ado, let's get into this video. The first thing you wanna do is prep your eyelids. You never wanna go in with just eyeshadow on bare, naked, possibly oily lids because it's gonna look like a hot mess. It could be patchy, uneven, so you want to make sure you prime your eyes just like you prime your face. There's a couple different ways you can prime your eyes. You can use an eyeshadow base. There's tons of them. I have two that I would recommend you get. Either the Too Faced Shadow Insurance last 24 hours, and I also really like the P. Louise eyeshadow base. With eyeshadow primers, you don't really have to set them with any powders. They set themselves. They should leave your eyelids matte and smooth to create an even surface for your eyeshadow. You can also use a concealer for so many years I'd rather use a concealer over an eyeshadow base but that's before this one came out I actually really really suggest this one and if you're gonna use a concealer I like the Tarte Shape Tape because it dries matte it's not heavy you want to make sure that the concealer finish you're using is matte if it's dewy it'll have too much oils and your eyeshadow could look patchy and muddy so make sure it has a matte finish whenever you use a concealer you don't want to put on a whole bunch of concealer because then your eye is going to get really thick and cakey and creasy so be careful with that i'm just going to take my finger apply that all over the lid and anywhere that i can't reach i'm just going to use a brush to blend it in take this large fluffy shader brush just to bring in that concealer in the inner corner area because my nail will not let me fully get in there. And then I'll just also blow it out right here, make sure everything is nice and smooth. I like to set my eyes with the translucent setting powder. It's light, it's airy, it'll make your eyelids look even and smooth. And it's not gonna add too much color or base to your eye, which can, again, make you look a little cakey. So to avoid that, I like to use a translucent powder. So I'll just take that and apply it all over the lid. This is gonna allow your brush to glide over your skin nice and smooth and give you a really clean blend. So I'm gonna be using the new Fenty palette. This is the Bomb Posse. They have two brightener shades that you could use as a base, this guy right here and this one as well. I'd rather use, again, translucent powder, but if you have that pressed powder in your palette, go ahead and use it. So now that our eyes are prepped, they're primed, they're smooth, you're ready for eyeshadow now. Before we get into eyeshadow, I'm gonna show you the eyeshadow brushes that you're gonna be using. First brush I'm gonna show you is the large fluffy brush. This is gonna give you an overall blown out even blend, make sure that everything is nice and soft. With the lightest eyeshadow shade, we're gonna use the bigger brushes, but you're gonna notice that once we use a darker shadow, the brushes will get smaller. That's a good rule of thumb if you're kind of unsure what brush to use. These are, let me just show you what these are from. These are actually all from Morphe. This is the Morphe, by by Ariel one and it doesn't have a number on it but it's the perfect big overall fluffy brush that you need there's also the M504 which is a big fluffy brush there's also the M573 depending on your eye shape you're gonna want to customize which brush is better for you so these brushes might be too big you know use whatever you think will work best for your eye shape but I'm gonna go ahead and use the makeup by Ariel one and I'm gonna take a transition shade so what is a transition shade we are going back to the basics so a transition shade is basically the background of your eyeshadow. It's gonna help create a smooth gradient into the deeper shades from the lightest shades. So the transition shade is gonna be a few shades darker than your skin color. I'm gonna be picking up this palette and the transition shades for me would be this one right here, which is like a mauve rose color, and this guy right here, which is like a bronze. Also another note, anything that would be used as a bronzer on your face would be great as a transition shade. So I'm gonna apply this shade, it's called Rockin' Rose. Such a cute name. I'm gonna take it with that brush and apply the transition not in the crease, like not right in the crease, because that's where the crease color will go. The transition shade's gonna be right above the crease. So when you pick up the color that you want, tap your brush like that. Two to three taps. You don't wanna just go in with all that eyeshadow on your eye because it could look 
way too heavy too quick you want a very soft blown out kind of transition shade so right here also how you hold your brush makes a huge difference on how you apply your shadows so you want to make sure that your hand is further back because then you have less control of your brush your brush can just kind of freely flow when you have your hand too close it puts down a lot of pressure and you're going to get a lot of pigment in a one focused area and it's just gonna you don't want that right now you only want that for like deeper shades so make sure your hand is way to the back when you use your transition shade i'm going to lightly go over right above the crease just like that and that's going to be our background color and you just use very soft motions back and forth you can even go in these large circular motions and it's on your transition area now we're going to move on to the crease the actual crease of your eye if you have a hard time finding your crease if you have too many folds in your eye just feel where your brow bone ends and kind of gets deep into the socket that is your crease this eye is slightly different from this eye as you can see so i have to treat this eye a little bit different so do the same with yours make sure you kind of analyze your eyelid space and see how you want to work with it and i'll show you how right now it's great that i have two different eyelids because i can show you different ways of how to do your eyeshadow so now we're going to use a slightly smaller brush that can fit right into the crease so for the crease brush i'm going to show you a few different options this also depends on your eye shape but i have three different ones they're pretty flat this way and when you turn them this way they're a little more fluffier they're kind of pointed so they fit perfectly into the crease so i have the varenti beauty one this is probably the only brush i have from this brand and it's really really good i obviously use it a lot <laughs> And then I have the Morphe and Ariel one. He has great brushes and the Smith 235 brush, which is an amazing brush brand as well. So I'm going to use the Smith brush because I like the fullness of it. And I'm going to take one of the crease shades, which is going to be deeper than your transition shade. I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pick it up, pick up the product tap off the excess. When you put eyeshadow in your crease, you want to look down into your mirror, tilt your head back a little bit, and come in this way. My crease is actually down here. And the way that I actually do my eyeshadow these days, I actually put it higher. But for this video, I want it to be a beginner-friendly starter. I just want to follow the natural shape of my eye. So I'm going to take this brush, tilt my head back. My crease is right in here. And I will just go back and forth into the crease like that you can go further out like i said if you want to elongate your eye but i'm going to keep it right here just for the sake of this video being more beginner friendly and i'm going to follow all the way through back and forth with my brush so what we're doing is adding depth to your crease i like that you can go in because it's flat and work it back and forth but you also can turn it on its side and go in these circular motions to kind of blend out that line also start with just a little bit of shadow as you can see i'm actually moving my hand to the middle of the brush because i'm putting a little bit more pressure down into the crease this is a color that's going to get a little deeper at some points where i want the color to be more concentrated i'll press down so you'll see that i'll go right into the socket like right here and i'm actually pressing into the socket and wiggling my brush back and forth as i get further out i'll lift my hand and just do these circular motions really softly in the crease so it gives you a nice blend this part can take a while my videos are 10 to 15 minutes long but this part actually takes quite some time to blend and make sure everything's nice and soft so i'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and i'm going to fast forward because it's going to take forever make sure that this shade is below the transition shade you don't want it to go above or any higher because that's what's going to create that nice gradient, that smooth, even gradient. If you feel like you're having trouble blending that little crease area, go back in with your fluffy brush. Never add any more color to this after that and just go over the outer edge because this is a little bit harder to blend right out here. So just go over very lightly, do not press down. Look at how my hand is on the brush. It's very much to the back, very lightly. Just kind of go in circular motions right out here to make sure that everything is nice and blended and even. 
So now that we have these two colors here, you wanna grab a third color and that's gonna be the deepest color. This color is gonna create dimension on your eye. It's gonna make your eyes look more sultry and just beautiful. This is pretty much the only matte deep shade in the palette. So that's what you're gonna use to create that dimension. Dimension is really bringing to life the structure of your eye. So as we get darker, brushes will get smaller, as I said earlier. I'm gonna use this brush from Lorely Los Angeles. It's really tiny. It's pretty much like a precision brush for deep shadows right in the crease. With this brush, I'm gonna take that dark brown. This is called Get This Bread. <laughs> I love that. Once I pick that up, tap it off. Especially with darker shades, you want to make sure you use a very light hand and start off very light because this is where it can go really wrong. So make sure you are very light handed. You want to gradually ease your way into that dimension. So what I'm going to do with this shade is just take it on the outer corner like this. You're basically going to line up where your brow tail ends and the end of your eye. That's where the dimension color is going to come in and bring it in so it looks like a little V and you see I'm coming in kind of over the top because this is where I want it to be concentrated right in this area if I go this way I might get some of that dark color into the transition color into the crease it could get really muddy and it could be a mess so I'm gonna make sure that my brush is like this it's focused on the outer V and then when I come down here obviously I can just work it back and forth like this. I'm doing circular motions, I'm rocking it back and forth, just like that. And keep this on the outer part of your eyelid. I'm gradually going in a little deeper. I'm gonna bring my hand in a little closer. Now that it's getting a little deeper, I'm gonna take my brush and just go side to side and slowly bring it into the outer half of the lid. So it kind of creates a little gradient here on the lid as well. And your makeup's gonna look so clean. It's gonna look like a pro and you're gonna be so happy. This does take practice. Obviously, you're not gonna get it overnight, but if you keep doing these steps over and over again, you can come back to this video and just kind of make sure that you're doing all of these little techniques. You are gonna get so good at your eyeshadow. You're gonna be your own professional celebrity makeup artist, trust me. I wanna go a little deeper, so for that, I'm actually gonna take a flat brush. Now, we're really packing on the color if we're using a flat brush. I'm gonna take this tiny little brush told you guys the brushes will get tinier and smaller as we get deeper so I just want to take it and pack it right out here see that is a lot deeper and I just want to focus it right there because we already blended this color out pretty well in this area and I don't want to add any more to that area and I'm gonna go back into our little brush and just use these little circular motions to blend all the edges out. Circular, back and forth, whichever you feel more comfortable to blend your eyeshadow. All right, so now that we have all three colors on our eyes, it's looking nice and blended, we need one more blend. So take the same brush that we use with the lightest shade, I'm gonna tap into it just a little bit, not too much. Still tap off and then go right above and around. And I'm going a very feather light on this area. And then I'm gonna go into this inner area and make really big circles right here, very lightly, just so that's nice and blown out. So now for the fun part, we get to the inner area right here. You can use any shade you want. Um, universally, a brighter shade looks better here. It opens the eye, makes your eyes look pretty and open, and you can use sparkly shades, shimmers, foils, matte brightener shades, or you can go for more deeper shades to make it smoky and sultry. It's really up to you. I'm gonna go for something that's more shimmery and eye-opening. So let's see, I'll go for this pink color right here. It's pretty light at the same time. It has like a really pretty shimmer to it. So I'm just gonna take that. And for shimmers, I typically like to use my finger for these just because shimmers foils and any type of reflective shadows always perform better on your finger no matter what brand it is so we are going to just pop it on right there Ooh, that's really really pretty 
and then obviously I can't get really close to that inner area. There you can use an even brighter shade, you can use a matte brightener, you can use a super light shimmer shade, whatever you want, or you can just bring it in. I'm going to just bring it in. So for that, I'm gonna use the Packer brush. I'll have all the brushes listed below. This one is from Dominique. And I'm just gonna take some of that shade. I'm gonna take it in this inner area right here. You see whenever you use a brush, it's not as intense. That's with any shadow, to be honest with any like reflective shadow. You can wet your brush and really make these shimmers even more foily and reflective, but I'm just gonna leave it bare and just keep packing it on there. So for the very inner corner, I'm gonna take a pencil brush like this. You can actually use this brush if you wanna do like a darker shade here that's a little bit more advanced or just to pop a shade on right in the inner corner and that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna take this dense brush in the same shade and just bring it in to this inner corner. The denser the brush, the more like compacted it is, the more color payoff you're gonna get. So I really want a nice pop in here, so I wanna use a very concentrated, dense brush right there. I do wanna kind of blend this area, so I'm gonna take a clean brush and just go back and forth. This is kind of a dense brush, and I'm gonna go back and forth between that dark brown and the pink. I just want to include one more part and that is on your brow bone. I would suggest to use something that is more matte. You can use shimmer. It's up to you. I personally like the way matte looks better. I think it's cleaner. It also helps to find your brow shape. So I'm going to take the brightest shade in the palette. It kind of matches my nails actually. And I'm going to take a small brush for this area. So the brush I'm going to use is from the Makeup Shack. It's a T61. Get a good amount. Tap off once because you actually want a nice uh, amount of color here. I'm going in like this, and I'm patting the color in and then sweeping it back and forth. It just cleans up the whole entire look and makes it look a lot neater. So I'm gonna do the other eye really quick, and you just wanna follow the bottom of your brow shape with this. This is actually the last step. So for this step, I'm gonna take the crease brush, so whatever crease color was on it, pick up the transition shade, so it's gonna have both of those colors kind of mixed in, and then I'm gonna sweep it right underneath my lash line. And this is gonna tie the entire look together and complete your eyeshadow look. And you wanna just match it to the end of your eye look. Now you have a completed eyeshadow look. You're gonna be a pro. All you have to do now is pop on some mascara. If you really wanna make this look stand out, you can throw on some lashes and let me know how you like it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a lot. I'm gonna throw on some lashes and I'll be right back. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, make sure to thumbs it up. It helps my channel a lot. And if you like this type of how-to for beginners series, make sure to comment below what you wanna see next. Lashes, liner, contour, I got you. Also, if you haven't checked out these two videos on the side, make sure to check them out before you go. And before I let you go, I just wanna give you a little motivational message as I do with all my videos, and that is to be patient with yourself great things take time. Just like your eyeshadow, it's a gradual process. We'll get there. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.